Hi guys, uh, I got another unboxing today. This is the Trigger Happy Havoc Dungum Dungum Ramp Rumpa from the second one I just got. Um, I didn't know that they originally had this uh, limited edition probably back not till maybe May or so, and uh, then I was originally gonna plan to buy this off Amazon sooner. And do this video before I did the second uh, one, but I wanted to buy my glass, so that came first before this. And at that time, it was a little bit cheaper. It was probably a hundred dollars more than what it was supposed to be. Um, so I paid a little bit. I paid one hundred fifty dollars more for for this one. Um, so there's really not much in this one, but it's okay. Um, because that's the collector's edition, and then you got here. You got the all the characters. I really enjoyed this game, that's why I got the second one. Um, but this was really I this was a really fun game. I really enjoyed it a lot. Um, I played through it, tried to get all the trophies with it. Um, but really, really amazing game. At first I thought I was like, yeah, this game kinda looks dumb and stupid, it didn't make no sense. But after really getting in, 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 into the story and, and the characters and all that, it uh they made me want to just start getting everything of this game, of the series. And apparently, it was on the PSP four years ago. It came out in 20, 2010 on the PSP. Who knew? I didn't really know until I looked online and they had action figures for this and all kinds of cool, crazy stuff in Japan. So I was like, well, hmm, maybe I should buy it for PSP. But then I was like, nah, I don't even have PSP, so there would be really no point to having it. So good thing they brought it to the Vita. Since I really enjoy my Vita, I have almost every game now. There's three games currently right now that I don't have, and then I'll have every game up to date for my PS Vita. Um, I, I originally, there's a side thing, I originally bought the Vita a week before it came out because I got the special, the PS Vita first edition bundle, which is probably the best bundle ever because it comes with a case, a memory card, a physical copy of the game, not a digital copy. I didn't do an unboxing video of that because at the time I didn't have uh, a good quality camera with... Uh, tripod or you know good lighting or anything uh, so it wasn't until last year that I got a camera and all that and that's why I have a whole bunch of other unboxing videos that I should have, I wish I've done in the past with my camera but with having a camera but like my Monster Tron Daft Punk edition headphones I did took pictures with it with a, another camera but I never did a video unboxing of it because I didn't like again I didn't have a tripod at the time and I wanted to try to do the best unboxing video I like possibly can do um, right now. So with lighting and tripod, that's really all I need. Yeah, it probably would a little bit more audio better stuff, but that's okay. So let's get right into it. Um, and here's the back of it. Uh, it's all the characters. If you haven't played the game, you should play it. It's a really amazing game. There's a third one coming out. Not probably not till next year. And hopefully that comes, I'm sure it will, since these two probably did, I'm assuming they did pretty well um, in America. So hopefully they, the third one comes out, because that one's going to be different. It's supposed to be like a, a shooting game, where you're like walking around and you're playing like at least four or five different characters. Um, so that should be cool when you're fighting against Marakuma. So you get to shoot him and whatnot. So that looks pretty cool. So you see right here... There's the game, there's the disc, and there's the booklet. That's really all it comes with in this one compared to the, the bundle edition. I was surprised because I, I watched this unboxing before with someone else online. And uh, when she got it, she got it the 15th. And I guess it came out the 15th of February of last year. I didn't probably get mine copy until probably a month later because I tried looking for it. I found it at GameStop, but they had it open. And. Um, so I found it at my local buyback games uh, place and I bought it from him. He's like, well, if you ever get done playing with it, bring it to me and I'll buy it back from you. So, there's that. So, so you get so here's the CD, which I already have a digital copy of it. So, there's really no need to get to open that. And I wouldn't even open it anyways, like the other one. There's the booklet. It's not even a survival booklet, it's just a, a hands-on thing. Just talks about the characters and stuff. And there it is from the front. 
There's some of the characters right there. Right there. Genocide Jack. Oh my god, she's crazy. Crazy game. Crazy characters. And since I've already owned a copy of this, I'm going to probably go take this back to my local back. Take this copy and give it to um, my local buyback games. So I don't know if I want to give it to them brand new or just open it up. Because opening up, it has exactly the same content. There's no actual bonus downloadable content for it. So really nothing special. So yeah, pretty much it. Uh, this really was it. There's just the game, the survival booklet, and the disc. So, let's see what we can get in here. This, this, there's the book. Of course the game, so that's everything you get in there. Yeah, you know, it's, it's okay, I guess, you know. Uh, but, just like the new one I got, they got a lot more. So hopefully when they make the third one, they probably pack as much as they can. And if there's, there's, there's stuff that they, they can't even pack in the box and they put separate, it's fine by me. You know, throw a little Monica Kuma figure, um, a Moname figure. Uh, I think she's. I'm, uh, yeah, I think I saw her in that one too. So, yeah. I know he's in it. Oh. In the third one, I know he's in it. He's in it. She's in it, and that's all I can think of from this one. And I, I, I didn't really see because I really, really just touch into the second one. So. Yep, that's pretty much my unboxing of the Trigger Happy Havoc Dingum Rumpa. So, pretty fun game. I, I was watching the uh, uh, same thing unboxing of this for from IGN, and they said that this is hard to find. Well, at the time, it was hard to find this copy, and I thought to myself, that's kind of odd, because when I went to a few places like well maybe like if you go to GameStop and stuff you could find it there but if you go to like a Walmart, Kmart, uh, Target uh, or, or like the mall you probably won't find it unless it was a GameStop buyback games and I got like I said I got mine originally at buyback games I would originally got it at GameStop but they did only have the like, again they only had the open copy that said brand new even though it wasn't brand new because you know you open something it's not brand new anymore so it don't matter how long you keep it in good condition so at least that's my opinion so all right guys thanks for watching bye